It's bat week and we're back with some more bat fun. So what are we making today, Kat? Today we're making something called a hand wing bat. What a coincidence. So bats actually belong to an order called Chiroptera, which translates directly to hand wing. So this is such a diverse group of animals that belong to this order with more than 1,400 species Whoa. of bats and more continue to be discovered. That's a lot of bats. That is a lot of bats. Can we try Chiroptera? Chiroptera. So Chiroptera. Chiro and Terra, like pterodactyl. Okay. Um, so to get started on our craft, there's going to be a PDF on our website. You just have to find this one. It's going to be labeled Hangwin Bat. And you're going to take these shapes and trace them out. And then you're also going to cut them up. And you're going to need your trick to trace your hand. And we're gonna have to cut two of these because bats have two wings. Yes, they do. So, are bats part of the bird family? No, bats are actually mammals. So mammals, just like humans, just like dogs, just like cats, um, they give birth to live young, they have fur, and they produce milk. Some of the defining characteristics of mammals. But what makes them very unique is that they are the only mammals capable of true flight. So they use their muscles in order to actually be able to create flight compared to other, um, other animals like flying squirrels that don't actually fly, but they glide. So they just stretch out their, their extra skin and then they just kind of descend down rather than maintain flight. So their wings are actually attached to their hands. Well, that anatomy is very similar to our own anatomy. So I've got Alfred here to help demonstrate what that looks like. So over here, we have the humerus bone, which is this bone over here on me, followed by the forearm. So my forearm here, the radius and ulna, and then you got the wrist over here, wrist, and then you got your thumb, Thumbs index, up. <laughs> yep, thumbs up, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger, just like this. Cool. So, so you could kind of say that bats fly by the power of jazz, jazz. hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm almost done cutting the most trickiest part here, which is his toes. Can you tell us something about bat toes? So their claws, like, so bats hang upside down because it makes it easier for them to take off. So I got all the pieces cut out here. I'm going to glue it down with my glue gun. You can use glue stick or tape or staple, whatever you have handy. So this part's its belly. You have little tiny pieces for its ears. Just like that. And then the most important part is their wings. I'm gonna flip them over upside down. Don't forget, thumbs up. And I'm gonna stick this down onto his back. Just like that. And that's what it should look like. And I used a white crayon to give him face. Oh, oh, we have made earlier. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> How are your bats at home looking? Now, just wanted to see if you remember, what was that fancy word that bats belong to? The one that means hand wing. Oh, Cairo, like chiropractor. Yeah. Terra, like pterodactyl? Exactly. <laughs> Cairo, so, chiroptera, well done. Um, I'll work and, on it. <laughs> and again, it's a it's its own group of animals with many, many kinds of different species. So thank you for joining us here today. Be sure to check out Toronto Zoo's Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram for more posts on bats and look at batweek.org for more events happening around the world to celebrate bats. Thank you. Bye.